start with big uh, models uh, and uh, of uh, artificial intelligence. We connect that with uh, uh, a long research tradition in uh, psychology and cognitive sciences and social sciences concerning poverty, scarcity, and over indebtedness. And we put everything together and we try to um, uh, give it back to the, to the public. The whole idea is that uh, over indebtedness, uh, as important as it is, might not be a unified concept. So you could have actually different kinds of over indebtedness. And this is not new, I would say, but the thing is, can you actually identify in the data these profiles? Can you describe them and identify which risk factors are more associated with, with, with each profile? And that was the challenge that what, uh, what's what uh, we tried to do. Um, and given the, the large amount of data, uh, we use the artificial intelligence, uh, uh, specifically machine learning, as a way to compare uh, a huge number of different algorithms. And we did come up with uh, a quite stable algorithm that uh, identified three different profiles. And of course, we cannot reduce people to three or four profiles. So this has to be seen as a tool and not as an end in itself. It's not that uh, we're going to uh, forget about the specificities of each case. It's just that with these kind of tools, depth experts can more easily and faster identify some features. This type of uh, indebted family probably is closer to this profile. In that sense, it helps them to start their work. Of course, after that, you have to take uh, into consideration the specific factors. I mean, uh, different countries, different idiosyncrasies uh, of each uh, of each family member, family members, etc. Mm -hmm.